97% of Gaza's drinking water is unfit for human consumption. Unfit for human consumption. That should resonate with an American audience at any rate. It's not so long ago that there was a national outcry and indignation over Flint, Michigan, when it was found that the water supply was contaminated. But here it's not one city. It's the whole of Gaza. What does that mean practically? Well, I'd like to quote Sarah Roy at Harvard Center for Middle Eastern Studies, who's considered the leading academic authority on Gaza's economy. I will mention, though I am averse to playing the Holocaust card, uh, but Sarah's parents, both of them, were in Auschwitz. And she's a practicing Jew, not a Jew by fortune or whim of fate. She's a practicing Jew. Both of her parents were in Auschwitz. And she came out with a new edition recently of her standard work on Gaza's economy. And she has some additional chapters, introduction, conclusion in the book. And she says at one point, and I'm quoting her now, innocent human beings, most of them young, are slowly being poisoned by the water they drink and likely by the soil in which they plant. Innocent human beings are being poisoned 